Hi, I still have not read anything. Are we surprised? No. Um, I just wanted to get on here super fast to show you guys my shirt because I need to read for school, I think, and um, I haven't done any reading for like fun purposes. I watched, or not watched, I listened to two episodes of um, the Monster of the Week podcast, which is a supernatural podcast. Um, I highly recommend it if you like the show. Um, I will talk more about my feelings about Supernatural in a little bit, but I'm currently watching season 13 because I quit watching for a while, and then I, when I found out that this current season is going to be the last one, I decided to, like, pick up and just finish it, and so I'm in, I'm, like, five or six episodes into season 13, and season 15 is the last one, so I've got a little bit of catching up to do, but anyways... Um, yeah, let me show you guys the shirt for today. Ooh, got some good, better lighting. Okay, so we have just a long sleeve black shirt, but we've got a jester, a pirate, and a witch, which sounds like the beginning of one of those three people walk into a bar jokes, but uh, the jester has jingle bells on it, so every time I... My hair is a disaster because I slept in today and didn't have time to do anything with it. I'm also a greasy girl because I um, essentially dermaplaned my face last night and I over moisturized and so we greasy. But anywho, better than being dry AF. I don't like that I just said AF. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but I am like 200 pages into 17 and gone now. And so I have like 130 something, no, 150 something left. So I would really like to finish that today. But is that going to happen? I don't know. Depends on how much reading for school I have to do. So I'm going to get on that. First, I'm going to change into sweatpants because I'm freezing. But I'm going to read for school and then I'm going to read for fun even though I'm not having that much fun reading this, and I would really like to read other things, but that's besides the point. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so I read like 83 pages of 17 and Gone, so I only have about 50 pages left, and um, there's some plot twists that have happened in these pages that I read that are interesting, and the pace is picking up, but, um, and this might be a spoiler, so if you don't want to know, don't listen to this for a little bit, but, um, something changed and now mental health has become a plot device, and so far it's not good representation of mental health in general trigger warnings for self-harm except because the narrator is unreliable i have no idea if she actually hurt herself or if it's a different situation like based on paranormal things that are happening and at this point, it's confusing as to whether things are even technically paranormal or not. So I don't know what the heck is gonna, how this is gonna wrap up. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So we'll see. I should be able to finish it tomorrow. Um, and I read one chapter for my library management class, but for this unit we have to read four chapters, and that class, the chapters are so long, and I just, it makes me want to cry, but I'll get through them, and uh, tomorrow is Friday, 
so I should be able to stay up later because I don't have to go to work till noon on Saturday and I don't have any plans except for like I don't have any plans tomorrow but Saturday after work I'm going home like I already mentioned so yeah um also I don't know I said like I was gonna do five day vlogs and I think it's been five days since my last one um like the end of my last one so I think I need to wrap this up um so I'm it today might be actually the start of the next set of vlogs but um if you see this at the end of this one then obviously it's the end of the third week of vlog or I say week f section because I'm doing it in five day increments but um if not then there will be the start of the fourth increment so I hope that makes sense uh but anywho I mean go I already took my makeup off and moisturized and whatnot that's why I'm glowing um but I'm gonna go get ready for bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow hi guys um if you can hear a really loud noise I just started my dishwasher so sorry about that but I'm home from din home from work I just finished dinner and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update I started reading or said listening to an audiobook at work um, it's for our faculty staff book club it's called how we got to now and it's about the author's um, choice of the six innovations that changed the world and so far it's talked about glass and um, the printing press and um, ice which isn't an invention but like it it um, like changed the way everything functions essentially um, and it's talking about sound um, I'm halfway through that audiobook it's really short so I might finish it at work tomorrow or on my drive back home to my hometown um, but yeah I'll finish it sooner rather than later because our discussion is next Wednesday and I'm planning on finishing 17 and gone tonight if I don't I'm gonna be pissed at myself because I have been reading it for far too long um, but anyways I think I was saying last night that the it's using it's just like had a twist where um, they're using mental health as a plot device and it's like bad and I'm afraid that it's gonna go in a direction I really don't want it to so I just need to finish it and get it over with um, but yeah I'm going to show you guys my shirt um, so here we go uh, where's a good place We'll go over here again. We just got this little wreath that says trick or treat. And we got all kinds of good stuff on here. We got a spider. We got leaves. We got a cat, witch's hat, ghost, bat, candy corn, pumpkin, moon. Uh, this is Boo. Um, and I have my grandpa jeans on again. Not my best outfit, but, um, I, I don't know, my office is still really hot, and it's, like, cooling down outside, but it makes it difficult to decide what to wear, and I'm trying not to, um, I'm trying not to use up all of my super, super good outfits too early, because I like to save them for, like, the as late towards Halloween as I can so anywho I will talk to you guys after I read something 
but I have to read for school as well. So when that will be, I don't know, probably closer to bedtime, but it'll happen eventually. Okay, so I just finished 17 and Gone, and I am not sure what to think, because I'll, I, I don't know how much I can say without spoiling it, and, and so, I mean, this isn't a super popular book or anything, so I don't imagine, like, how many people on booktube are going to want to read it, but... I'm just going to go into spoilery stuff, so if you don't want to hear about it, if you want to read it, skip over this clip. Um, so essentially, this book, it's like pitched as a paranormal story, and up until the last... 50 to 75 pages, it is exploring things as if it were paranormal, but it turns out that the main character is experiencing, well, is essentially experiencing symptoms of early onset schizophrenia, and I just have a problem with the fact that it wasn't, like, that was the reveal that she has schizophrenia or that she potentially has schizophrenia because you can't diagnose schizophrenia with one uh, episode. It's a really long process. And I just, I don't like that... I mean, there were clues, there were hints about things that were happening, but it just, like, I don't, like I said, I don't like that that was the reveal. I don't like that that's what was happening. Like, the missing girls in the book, all of them were real people, like, real people in the story that had gone missing. But the main character, Lauren, wasn't actually seeing their ghosts or seeing whatever. Like, she was imagining it. And ultimately, she is able to help find the original missing girl. That, the original missing girl that she saw the poster for. Um, she's able to help solve that case. But it thinks it's still ties into the schizophrenia so i just have issues with it and this book literally took me so long to read like i've been reading this since the beginning of these vlogs i feel like and i'm glad that it's over this is the book that's been on my tbr like my physical tbr for the longest so i'm glad i'm finished with it um I think I'm going to give it two stars. I just am uncomfortable with the way things worked. Something positive about it, though, is that the author, there's a note at the end about, um, like, she includes links and phone numbers to the National Mental Health, um, Alliance or Institute and like other things like the runaway hotline and things like that so that's really good that she included those and she included a note about um just like the 
experiencing mental health and things like that. So I, I'll give her that, but I don't, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm just done with it. So, but now I get to move on and read something else. So that's really exciting. Didn't read for school yet, but it's okay because like I have work for five hours tomorrow. So I normally do schoolwork during work on Saturdays and um yeah hopefully my copy of mooncakes will come in the mail tomorrow um before I have to go home to my hometown um because I would like to take it and read it this weekend but I don't know. And I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. I'm kind of drawn towards um, The Wicked Deep. But I also really need to read um, The Evolution of Mara Dyer and The Nightmare Dilemma. Those are like on my must read before the end of 2019 list. Because they're parts of series that I want to continue slash finish. So, I don't know. But I feel like I need to pick up something that I like actually really want to read right now after finishing 17 and Gone because I just, like, if I don't, I feel like I'm going to get slumpy and I want to finish something quickly. So, but I also kind of feel like I'm gonna not be able to read as much in the next couple weeks because I've got some projects and stuff for school due soon. So, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. But, um, yeah. I might start reading something else tonight before I go to sleep. It's like 8.45 right now, but I need to shower and, um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. It's Saturday, and I, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. I just had some breakfast and watched a YouTube video, and now I'm going to read for a little bit. I decided to pick up, um, The Nightmare Dilemma by Mindy Arnett. This is the sequel to The Nightmare Affair in the Arkwell Academy series. Um, I think I talked about a little bit about what this was about in my um, TBR for this month. But it's about a girl named Dusty and she's a nightmare. Like, that's her magical ability, essentially. Um, and there are three different kinds of magic in this world and um, Dusty is a nightmare so she like feeds off of people's dreams and um, she has a an ordinary person whose name is Eli who is like her amplifier essentially and from his dreams she can see the future and in other people's dreams, they are just kind of like regular dreams or she's seeing into the past. But at the beginning, or well, in the last book, the first one, they um, have to solve this murder that happened and they're able to do that through Eli's dreams. And um, there's like a warlock that's wanting to essentially like seek world domination and uh chaos ensues and this one picks up a couple months after the main character defeats the warlock and another person has been seriously injured but they can't figure out what's happened so i read um like almost 40 pages of that last night before i went to bed so I'm going to read a little bit of that, um, and then I need to get ready for work and pack to go home. Look at my fun, uh, 
nightgown. It says I'll I'll pack on my bag. If you didn't know, llamas slash alpacas are my favorite animal. So, anywho, I need to read for school when I'm at work today, and I have three chapters to read for my library management class, which is a slog, and I need to, like, I think our discussion board posts are due by the 23rd, so I need to get on that, but anywho. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello there. I am about to leave to drive home, but I just wanted to come on really quick and say that I am like 150 some odd pages into The Nightmare Dilemma, and I'm really liking it. It's going by super fast. Um, I'm remembering more about the first book as well as it goes on, um, but it's not one of those books that like, oh, shaking the camera. It's not one of those books that like blatantly rehashes every single thing that happened so I kind of like that but it's been a year since I read the first book I think so that's uh, a little bit of a struggle. Also I'm really sad because my copy of Mooncakes didn't come in today and the last time I checked the um, like shipping it said it was supposed to be here today so I need to look into that and see what's going on. Uh, but before I go, I will show you guys my shirt. Um, let me just preface this with I absolutely hate myself in orange. And, um, but you gotta do what you gotta do for Halloween, I guess. So, um, here we go. I have the sleeves rolled up because I'm really hot, but, and this shirt is very wrinkly. Um, but it's just a witch cat. With a big sparkly moon and some bats and um the cat's witch's hat has green threads on it to match its eyes and it's purple with sequins and uh you know it's good stuff but i'm very toasty um it says it's 74 in my apartment right now um and Anywho, that's besides the point. I am going to head out, and when I get to my house, I will show you guys my dog, and um, we're having a bonfire, I think, tonight, so that will be fun, and I might, if it's not too dark, I might try to read out at the fire and get some footage of that, but who knows what will happen. I will talk to you guys when I get there. Hi everybody, I made it home, and I'm going to show you guys my dog. He's very excited that I'm home. This is Winnie. This is my Winnie girl. Winnie. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi Winnie. Hi Winnie. There are no sheets on this bed, but... <laughs> she gets very excited when I'm home. She has congestive heart failure, and so she <laughs> coughs a lot, um, <laughs> like that. Oh, bless you. Oh, goodness. Um, but I'm very excited to be home with her. I'm about to go outside by the fire. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. What are you doing? And uh, it's way too dark to read outside, but I'm going to go out there and hang out with my mom and stepdad and my sister's going to be home in a couple hours. And uh, yeah.
guys, no, it's okay. Um, <laughs> I just hadn't, didn't hit the button. Oh. Uh, sorry I look tragic. Um, I am in a car with my mom and sister, so I wanted to introduce you guys to them. We're going to Goodwill because I'm looking for more Halloween shirts, and I will film the book section for you guys to see. Because I'm going to get some. Because mom, mom says she's going to get us some books if she finds some good ones. <laughs> so, here's my mom. Uh, mom, what are you reading? I just finished Homeport by Nora Roberts. It was very good. It took me a little while to get into, but it was a very good uh, suspense type, slightly romantic book. What would you give it out of five stars? Well, I actually had just started reading her books, and I had read one over the summer that I really liked and I would have said like a hundred stars um, and I, I read it in two days but this one took me a couple of weeks to get through and so I would probably say in comparison to the other one I would say it was probably three okay that's good this is my sister Abby Abby's not really a reader but she says she's been reading something so Abby what have you been reading I have been reading and analyzing the taming of the shrew mm. She is an aspiring actress and um, has done theater for a long time, so she reads plays and whatnot, scripts, scripts yeah. How are you liking it? Um, it's one of my favorite Shakespeare's. Same. I've read it before, but it's really telling of the uh, current state that the U.S. is in. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a um, a retelling, of, like a young adult contemporary book that's a retelling. I can't remember the title of it right now, but um, you might like it. Hmm. But, anywho, is it is that the one where the girl, is there a girl in it? She Yeah, there's a girl. <laughs> is, is she like a, she's a bitch and she knows it? Like she, oh, she's the shrew. You could say that, I guess. I think I'm thinking of the same thing, but... I haven't read The Taming of the Shrew or seen it. She's so. the bitch and she knows it. <laughs> Anywho, so um, I haven't read any more. It was too dark to read by the pool last night. and But you'll see clips of my dog in the fire in the pool from yesterday. Not in the fire in the pool. <laughs> I said and, and. And the fire in the pool. So... Um, we'll be at Goodwill in like 10 or 15 minutes, so I will talk, not talk, but I'll show you guys when we get there in a minute. Hello, I am back at my apartment now, and I just wanted to um, show you guys the books I bought earlier at the bookstore, and uh, show you guys my shirt, because I forgot that I hadn't done that already, and it's easy to show. It's just this little black t-shirt with a skeleton peace sign on it, um, because I wanted to be subtly spooky today, because it was kind of hot outside. Um, but yeah, we ended up... I ended up finding two books. I got Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. And this is about a guy who starts working at the night shift at a 24-hour bookstore, but the customers are kind of strange and he has to try to figure out what's going on. And I think there's a movie about that book. I'm not 100% sure. And then I also found this edition of Fangirl. And I've been really conflicted about reading this because of the controversy over Rainbow Rowell um, with the whole um, racism thing with Eleanor and Park. But since I bought it at a thrift store and I'm not like direct directly supporting her like by purchasing it, you know, like I got it for $2 at Goodwill, I felt okay about it. And since I'm going to be a young adult librarian. I feel like I need to read that one, this one because it's kind of a 
I don't know, like a really popular one, especially with Carry On and whatnot um, after, you know, in, as a spinoff from this book. Um, and I really, really, really love fandom culture. So I think that I will like the book. Um, I'm just going to go in with, you know, open eyes and make sure that it's you know and also not have too high expectations for it but yeah those are the books i picked up next weekend actually on friday i'm going to a book sale um at a library a few hours away from me my mom my mom might be going with me um if she decides she wants to take off work but i am like switching my work schedule for this week so i can go to this book sale so i'm going into work tomorrow and then i'm taking off friday but I'm super excited because it's a really nice library and the website said there will be thousands of children's and YA books so since I'll be there on the first day of the sale I'm hoping I'll find lots of good stuff but anywho that's um, what's going on I haven't read anything today because I was out doing stuff with my mom and sister and then I had to drive two hours back to my apartment um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll end up reading any of The Nightmare Dilemma tonight because I need to do some homework and I need to edit the videos or the vlogs from last week technically. I went over on my filming without like editing the next five days because I should have ended it on the 16th. Um, so I guess I'll be posting like one, um, hopefully tomorrow and then the next five days will already have gone by and I'll need to post it the next one, like the next day or something like that, if I can end up getting it edited. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Hi there, I just got home from work and I did finish ordering a pizza to have delivered to my apartment because I was going to go to the grocery store but then I decided I didn't want to and I just thought pizza sounded good. Um, so that should be here in like 30 to 45 minutes probably. And um, I listened to a little bit more of how we got to now. Um, my the book for my book club at work and um i was just having like trouble paying attention to it today so i only listened to a couple chapters but i have to finish that before wednesday so definitely gonna finish it tomorrow uh, i am exhausted i didn't realize how like used to having like a two and a half day weekend how used to that I was because like since I'm going to that book sale this weekend I had to go into work today and normally I work a half day Saturday and then I have you know Saturday evening off and then Sunday Monday off well because I drove home Saturday after work this past weekend I it was a very roundabout trip home and I drove back Sunday, and obviously I didn't have today off, so I didn't really have, it didn't feel like I had a weekend at all. And I, all day at work today, I was just tired. And we are partnering with this class at the university to use the archives, and they are supposed to be doing like research for their, for a paper they're writing but it's going to be a lot of work for me and my boss to help them find what they're looking for because it's like oddly specific stuff that we're not even sure we're going to be able to find and we may have to like help them change their research topics if we can't find anything on the topics that they pick so it's just going to be like a stressful week I think maybe not so much this week but probably next week will be really stressful which is lovely because I have several projects due for school coming up in like the next week 
so that's not super exciting, but uh, we'll make it through it. Um, this is my shirt for today. It just says boo, and it's got a spider in here, and this is a pumpkin, obviously, and this snake, and a bone with an eyeball, and the spider web in the back. Um, just a simple t-shirt. I'm getting down to my, like, more, like, over-the-top stuff. Like, this is the last normal t-shirt I have, and now I've got to start using my over-the-top stuff. So I'm excited, but, um, yeah. Anywho, uh, I'm probably just gonna play around on my phone until I, my pizza gets here. I have to read a long chapter for class tonight and do some discussion board posts. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to read some fun stuff as well. But I don't know. Um, so yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys later and this will be like the last day of this section of vlogs. And so I will do like a wrap up type of segment later. And then there will only be two more after this one. So we're getting down to the wire before, there's only 10 days until Halloween. So that's exciting. And yeah, talk to you guys after I have some pizza in my belly. Well, I didn't have time to read anything um, because my chapter for class was like 36 pages long, which you, if you know like textbook pages, um, you know, it's just not fun and it takes longer to read than, you know, like a book you would be reading for fun. But um, yeah, I downloaded several books for class from Libby. I got Code Talker by Joseph Bruchock for my Native American unit and Ivy Aberdeen's Letter to the World by Ashley Herring Blake and Words on Bathroom Walls by is it Julia Walton? Julie Walton? Something like that. Um, those were both for the inclusive unit. Then I had got a picture book called Jingle Dancer for the Na uh, Native American unit. And I have to go to the public library to get, um, actually Words on Bathroom Walls is at my public library. I have to go pick it up. And I also have to go pick up, um... Some book about Crazy Horse, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, but anywho, I'll probably run and do that at lunch tomorrow. <sighs> because the library closes before I get off work. But anywho, I'm gonna lay down. It's like 11.05ish. And I need to go to sleep. Because your girl is tired. TM. And hopefully, I, just, I keep saying that, hopefully I'll have time to read tomorrow, but I seriously have like a million projects and assignments due right now, and um, so I, who knows what I'll actually get done, but I might be able to read some stuff for school, because I need to get that done sooner rather than later so I can write my book reviews. Um, but I got feedback from my last book reviews, and... My professor said that I had some of the most comprehensive and well-written book reviews um, in the class, so you girls doing a good job, I guess. That's, I guess that's what um, I get for writing like book reviews every month for like my monthly wrap-ups on my blog and then also talking at a camera about books and watching booktube videos all the flippin' time. So, anywho, I'm gonna get off of here. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, but it will be the start of the next section of vlogging. So, 
with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!